Hi guys, it's me Carp. Thank you so much for tuning in to another video. So this is a quick little update with what's going on with me. Um, thank you for coming over to Instagram and asking your questions. I will definitely be getting back to you guys sooner than later. And also, if you have a question, go ahead and post those below so I can just do one big Q&A. Um, given all that is going on, I'm trying to be a little bit better with time management. So um, yeah, just go ahead and pop a question below and I'll definitely get back to you guys. Nothing is really off limits at this point in time. So I am five weeks postpartum. It is not getting easier. It's not getting easier because I'm still dealing with a good amount of pain. Um, this is my second C-section, so it's kind of new to me. I don't remember dealing with this sort of thing the first time around, but I think, well, not I think. What was explained to me was the fact that I'm not resting as I should. You guys know I'm back and forth um, between home and NICU, and I was driving like literally a couple of days after getting out of the hospital and so that was just out of necessity at this point in the pandemic they're only allowing one parent at a time so you know just for the sake of bonding and skin to skin and i know dads can do that as well but i'm also trying to breastfeed and all of that um there is this additional strain on me and it's a little bit of a challenge Especially when you have a child, you already have a child here. So, um, so there's still that that I'm dealing with. I may occasionally take something for the pain, but I'm trying to wean off um, pain management completely. I'm no longer taking the narcotics. And there was also a little opening, not that there was like an internal opening, when I looked at my incision, there was just a little bit of an opening, but that has since closed up. And then at my OB appointment last week, my doctor said that my staples on my uterus might have shifted a little bit, hence the kind of pain I was having because, y'all, it was bad. <laughs> you know, I think I have a high pain tolerance, but at the point where I was doubling up and all of that, I was actually thinking I had an infection, but it was just something to do with the staples so um, it's still not easy another challenge for me is finding care for Ebony now that Ron is back at work so I'm finding that I'm going you know these long periods of time without being present at EQ and even though they tell you it's okay and all of that the fact that I'm trying to breastfeed and do the skin to skin all of that now is a bit more challenging and in a pandemic I don't really want her to go back to daycare or school because she she was in school and I don't really care for um, dropping her, her off to random people like friends here and there. I mean, I have great friends, but my friends also have their responsibilities and their concerns, obviously, during this pandemic. So Amara is 34 weeks and four days. I was really surprised when the nurse told me this morning she's she's probably close to getting ready to come home. So yay, but it also makes me very nervous because, you know, I think I would just rather her be there for a little bit of time just to make sure she's super, super okay, even though she's okay. I want to make sure she's super, super okay. And uh, so there's that that I'm preparing for as well. Um, she was doing really well. She's thriving, um, feeding, tolerating her feeds. She's drinking out of a bottle very well now at 34 weeks. And she's just on a really good schedule. And what else? Um, Ebony is an amazing sister. Ebony is just really excited to be the big sister. So she's cleaning everything down regarding the baby and she's unfolding and, you know, folding everything again. And she wants to be known as the big sister and all of that. She draws pictures every day. So she's really, really exciting. Ebony is a very loving child and she's very perceptive. So I feel good knowing that... Um, you know, Amara will have that kind of sister in her life. I know kids can change, but really that is her personality. Um, someone wanted to know if I had any upsets at NICU. Yes, I had two upsets. So there was a time I went there and I literally saw with my eyes someone toss my milk, about 12 ounces of milk. And it hurt and it burned at the same time. I was really, really livid about that because pumping for me is not the easiest thing. Um... 
the reason why they did that, the nurse told me that someone, so another nurse made up too much of um, like fortified milk because they have to fortify the breast milk. So someone made up too much and then of course it expired. So they had to toss that. So I made sure I addressed that with the charge nurse and the lactation consultant because that's my liquid gold and I really didn't like that that, that had happened. So that was one thing. And then another thing, I remembered calling one morning just to see how, you know, Mars Knight was. And the nurse that day, that morning was really short with me. And I didn't like that. And naturally, I wanted to just kind of get back at her and all of that. But it was just really an overwhelming time. And of course, being so hormonal, I didn't want to um, be confrontational. So I just let it go. Um, she, in fact, called me back and apologized because, she, you know, she, she even said that she realized that she was very short. So um, that did not happen again. And so um, those were the two things that happened. So other than that, um, I am pumping. I'm taking milk to NICU. My supply is up because I think power pumping helps. So I do that three times a day, power pump. That's when you pump for 20 minutes and you stop and wait for 10 minutes and pump again for... 10 minutes and stop and wait 10 minutes and pump again so it takes like an hour which is fine I'm just trying to keep my supply up but um it's very exhausting as well but I am doing that diligently to keep my supply up um what else all right so on the note of pumping um you guys would have remembered one of my I think the most recent video I'll link it below um I did a review for or a first impression video for mama couture i finished up the cookies those were really really delicious and now i'm almost through with the smoothie blend so in this blend we have oats flaxseed bruised yeast cacao powder and cinnamon and i cannot tell you how tasty this is i blend these um you know fruits like berries and papaya pineapples mango whatever it is whatever i'm gonna put in my smoothie smoothie even spinach and I will add a couple of spoons of um, this blend. And there's no aftertaste or anything like that. If anything, it is going to improve the quality of my milk. Now, as far as output, I cannot really speak to that as yet. Because as I said, I've always had a high output of milk. And um, I have been power pumping as well. But by taking this, I haven't noticed... A decrease in my supply so if anything the blend is going to enhance the quality because of the types of ingredients in there and just being a nutritious you know addition to your smoothie so I wanted to mention that then um, I am a part of some very support supportive groups uh, online you know i was in a group for the hyperemesis gravidarum so that helped me out tremendously and now i'm in a group for nikki moms and that is also helping out as well with things i should look out for and what i really need when you know baby comes home and all of that stuff but this is all i have i hope you enjoy this very short video enjoy the updates um thank you so much for reaching out about amara it's such a very it's a difficult time for me. It's not getting easier at all. I don't care what people say. People tell you it's going to get easier, but it really doesn't get easier. I'm a little bit freaked out with all that's going on in the world and um, all that can be, but I'm really trying my best to keep it together and keep myself together so I can take care of the other people who really, really need me around. So with that said, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Leave me a question below. I want my next video to be a QA. and a So I, as I said in the beginning, Leave me a question below. Um, I'm going to respond in my next Q&A. And also, um, come over to my Instagram, okay, to the Carob Spice, and check out um, pics and updates for this week. I'll probably go ahead and do a postpartum body shot as well. All right, guys. Peace.